Okay, we're gonna go over how to thread and lock off the eight plate for rappel. <clears throat> First, I'm gonna take a bite of rope, pass it up through the hole on the eight plate, and pass it over the hub. This is for right-handed. If I was left-handed, I would just switch the bite to the other side. I'm gonna open up my carabiner, clip it in to the hub. It's locked. Take up the slack. And now I'm threaded the right way for a rappel. Rappel position will be the brake hand and the small of the back all the way down. Once they reach somewhere and we want to stop, we command, give our commands to stop. Edge manager would say stop Y, tell them that you're locking off. To do the lock off, we're going to first take our temporary brake can, which is our left hand, put it behind the eight on the brake side of the rope. Then I'm going to take my brake can and move it up now, palm side up so my two pinkies are touching. Okay. Then I'm going to take my left hand off and I'm going to grab the hub of the eight plate. This is to steady it because when the student goes to lock it off, if the hand's not here, it's going to dance around. So I'm going to grab the hub of the eight plate, come up and over really quick. We want to instruct them to go between the eight plate and the rope. A lot of times the students will come across like this, and we don't want that. Okay, they have to come over right from the back side. So it's going to go from the back side here over to the front side here. Holding it steady, up and over quick. Two hands, palm down, pull tight. I'm gonna bring it back around again. This time holding the hub of the eight plate, come back around. Pull it too tight. It's a little easier once it has a load on it. Now that I have two wraps, I'm gonna come back around and tie an overhand Safety. Okay, to unlock the eight, the student will give the command at the unlocking. We'll untie the safety, and then they're going to hold it up without letting go of the rope. When they do this, they're going to notice there's three pieces here. We want to instruct them which one to grab, which is going to be the middle one. And we're going to do it so our hand is palm do uh, thumb down. So when they come down, the brake hand's already ready to go. At this point, we're going to instruct them to take their brake can and put it at their right shirt pocket. They're going to grab some slack out. Gives them some slack here. Then they're going to palm it up and over. No fingers, no thumbs up and over and they're just simply placing the rope over the back side of the eight plate two hands are going to choke up until it gets really tight and then when they're ready they're going to pull we want to tell them this is the free one as soon as they pull the brake should go right back to the brake can in the brake position obviously they're still caught on this piece right here right hand's going to come up right shirt pocket pull some slack out palm it up and over no fingers no thumbs two hands choke up this is the one that they're gonna get the pucker factor as they pull once they're ready if the hands are down low we want to make sure they cheat them and they bring them back up high so they don't end up too far when they're ready go ahead and pull as soon as they pull back right hand should be in brake position command's gonna be on rappel they're going to say repel away.